Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about this Powder River Precision receiver set. It's called the Rubicon and uh, Powder River Precision sent this to me and in the video you're going to see uh, this rifle go through a couple of different configurations. We went from a lightweight kind of SHTF type build to this Precision one here, so stay tuned. So I was just sent a upper receiver. Now this is a complete upper receiver. Uh, this is from Powder River Precision. It comes with the receiver, the bolt, the everything you need. The only thing you have to add to this receiver uh, combination is a barrel and a stock. It comes with the trigger, it comes with the whole nine yards. Now guys, we're using uh, one of KID's ultra lightweight barrels here. This is not a threaded barrel, it's just a uh, just a super lightweight, super accurate barrel. I, I'm so impressed with this unit right now. Uh, I'm just kind of blown away, that's why I wanted to make this video real quick. So we have the upper and trigger, everything is Powder River Precision. Uh, a kid barrel, of course we're using the Magpul stock. And guys, we're shooting with a Hollow Sun uh, 2 MOA red dot. It's just a, a dot. It's a solar. Forget the model of it. It's a uh, it's a 403C. Uh, we're shooting groups at 50 yards right now, and I just want to show you what this thing is capable of, even in this wind. We're using um, I think I've got 10 rounds of SK semi-auto in here so i've got the dots illumination down about as low as i can get it and still see it that way i can uh see the uh target i'm shooting at now the targets are little one inch uh shoot and see circles now i've already shot one group up there it looks like maybe under under half an inch but if i told you i shot that with a red dot you'd probably never believe me so i'm going to show you just how well this thing shoots and guys keep in mind it's windy as hell out here right now all right let's try it again let's see what we got that time yeah probably under a half inch group or right around a half an inch. Guys, this thing is a hammer. Um, these barrels, if you've ever been afraid to buy one of these lightweight barrels thinking that you know you need that heavy bull barrel to get accuracy, guys, you don't. Look at what I'm doing with a red dot sight at 50 yards. Uh, it's phenomenally accurate. But guys, this thing, I mean, this thing weighs nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, and even if I were to put, you know, a pound and a half scope on this thing, it's still going to be under a seven pound, right around a seven pound rifle. Uh, and I think it would compete with pretty much any 1022 that I have built right now. If I were to put a, um, you know, a five to 25 scope on it, I'm pretty sure it would compete with any one of them. Now, guys, and that was SK Semi Auto. That is not the, the most expensive uh, ammunition in the world. Now, this is rifle match. Let's see if this shoots any different. Like, no recoil. The last round was a little underpowered. All right, guys, so I made a few changes. I couldn't help myself. Let's uh, try and shoot some groups with this real quick and uh, just see just how well this thing can shoot. All right, so we're going to start off with some SK Semi-Auto, and then we'll go to some Rifle Match, uh, then the SK Standard, and then we'll shoot some Long Range SK. From what I've seen so far, when I was shooting off camera, I shot some groups in the point twos with this thing uh right in a row all one holers uh, i'll post the target up right here uh it this thing is ridiculously accurate uh problem is is i'm not sure which ammunition it was that i used to shoot those groups uh the the magazine was already loaded up i think it was long range match sk but i'm not positive 
<laughs> so we'll start off with some uh, SK semi-auto uh, and see how good this uh, lightweight PRS setup will shoot. Here we go. So hopefully that's just a warm-up group, although we are using semi-auto. This isn't the most expensive ammunition in the world. So hopefully that was just a warm-up group. And not too good so far. All right, well, it didn't shoot the semi-auto all that good. Let's try the standard plus. And I think I'm just gonna shoot uh, three groups. Uh, the uh, ammunition is not cheap, guys, so. All right, so this is the SK standard plus. A little better. That last group was pretty dang good. All right, this is the rifle match. Not horrible, but nothing to write home about. Hopefully the uh, long range match will shoot a little bit better. All right, let's try some uh, SK long range match. <laughs> Holy moly. I think I pulled that one shot. I think that was me. I don't think it was the rifle or the ammunition. This thing hammers the long range, the SK long range. Uh, all right, let's go down. We'll measure these things up and I'll get right back to you. All right, so the best one, of course, was the SK long range. Number two was the standard plus. Number three, the rifle match. And number four was the semi-auto. We ended up with a 0.29 average on the long range, a 0.47 average on the SK rifle match, a 0.42 average on the SK standard plus, and a 0.57 average on the uh, semi-auto. So guys, if you're familiar with the inner workings of a 1022, uh, normally the spring, the recoil spring, is on the, uh, the far right side, and Powder River Precision puts theirs right down the middle. So they have a channel cut up into the top of the receiver where uh, they put their recoil spring. And I tell you what, guys, I've got at least 500 rounds on this uh, receiver so far in the last couple of days. And this thing is still smooth as butter. I mean, it's crazy how smooth this action is. So this is probably one of my favorite 1022 builds to date. Not only is it accurate, but it has that unique lightness to it that makes it different from all my other builds uh, and it's just as accurate uh, I, this thing is crazy accurate you know I had this Luth AR stock sitting in my safe and um, just kind of waiting for the exact right build for it uh, and I think I found it uh, this stock does everything I need it to do uh, it's super accurate super rigid and it's very adjustable uh, you really can't beat that um, you know, Roth Performance designed this quite well, and I'm pretty impressed with it. 
Now guys, Powder River Precision did send me this receiver group uh, for me to take a look at. He didn't even say that I had to make a video on this. Uh, he just wanted me to try it out and tell him what I thought about it. Now guys, this is probably one of the smoothest actions on any 1022 that I've ever uh, built or put together. And it pairs up with this Kid Ultralight weight barrel very well. Um, like I was telling you, the thermal fit uh, receiver to uh, barrel fit on this was so tight, I probably didn't even have to run the V-block on it. I mean, it was that tight. Uh, and the tighter it is, the better it's going to shoot. It's just going to be more rigid and more accurate. If I wanted to make this lighter, which I think I'm I'm at the point where it kind of feels like a toy, so I don't think I want to make it lighter, but I could actually go with uh, Arkin's EPL line and lose another 11 ounces. So like I said, I'd be around six pounds, 10 ounces on a complete build. Now that's not including the bipod, uh, but that is including everything that's set up on this rifle from the arc rail to the scope to the, you know, everything that you see here besides the bipod. Um, yeah, guys, this thing is an incredible build. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do a full review on the Powder River Precision uh, receiver set here. Uh, just got to give me a little bit more time. I didn't want to take it apart. I, I just wanted to shoot it for now, and I'm super impressed with it. So, all right, guys, well, that's all I got for you today. So if you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, go down there and hit that subscribe button. I can't build this channel without you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.